Hi everyone, this is Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography. I am going to show you how to quickly improve an image with Nick software of Visa. This is the before image and this is the after image. So um, bear with me, this is my first video. I'm excited, it's something new. I always write on my blog, blog.sullivanjphotography.com and you can always get tips and lessons there. So here we go. Um, I'm going to take this image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit in my Vavisa 2. And I always edit with a copy so I don't damage my original file. As it opens down here, you'll see Vavisa is opening. Uh, it's loading its image. And here we go. So here are your control points. I'm going to go ahead and increase the blues when you click on the blue area with the control point. It's only going to affect that. So I'm going to darken this a tad. And I'm going to add some structure. And already you can start seeing it's starting to pop. Um, I'm also going to add a second control point with, um, it says copy. So what you do is you hold your alt option key and drag it on another blue spot is what I'm going to do. See how it just makes it pop. I'm going to just take my circle and bring it down a little bit. And I think I'll do one more control option. I'm doing that because one's for the PC people. And there we go. Look at how it's already starting to add some structure and some color. And then this area right here, I want to brighten up a little bit. So I'm going to, and it's a different color, color obviously, with the browns and the greens. And I am going to brighten it. There you go. And then here's warmth. You can also add some warmth to it if you want. That's a little too much, too orangey. I don't like it. That's what's so nice about these control points. You can always come over here and this right here highlighted is showing the control point that I'm actually on. Um, and then I'll do another Alt option and just drag this guy over here on the I like I want these colors to pop in here as you can tell just did that um, we can do it before and after and you can see let's do another copy of it by holding and dragging it down while you're holding the option and control point option and alt and then maybe I want the green <coughs> excuse me I'm going to let you see up close because we're on a small. Okay. And with the little hand guy, you can drag it. You can see before and after, which is really nice. You can bring it down with the hand. Bef after, before, after. And then here I want to just go back. That was 33%. So um, basically, that's really it. I mean, I did some more details, you'll see. But I mean, look at the difference. I just can't. I, I, this is an amazing tool, and it really helps um, you get to what you need to get to without um, maths, which another time I will show you how to use this in Photoshop, and then you can mask in the areas once you've changed. But this, since this is my first video, I think I better make it basic. All right, it's once you're completed. Click save, you're happy, and then you'll go back into Lightroom and um, do whatever you need to do there if you like. But today's lesson is just on working with the Visa 2. See the difference? It just popped through. Um, but of course, right here I've added more and taken more time. I don't have time to do this on the video, but I've made these a ni nice golden tones and I love clouds if you know any of my work I'm always liking the structure of clouds and I love the way this looks like a cross so 
basically this is the Joshua Tree National Park and um, this is the end image. I probably would clean up a little bit more in here, but for now, play with the Nick software. I think you'll enjoy it. Cheers.